Hello and welcome, my name is the cool guy one on one. Today I bring you guys a tutorial for the for the error that you get. Um if your internet on your computer is not working, you uh you run the troubleshooter uh from Windows and it says the DNS server is uh isn't responding. Now uh, this happened to me about an hour ago and I found a fix online. I wanted to get it out to as many people as I can and make sure that no one else has to suffer from this uh, stupidly simple fixed problem <laughs> so um if you if you aren't uh, if I didn't explain that very well I my computer was connected to the internet it had bars it had a fine connecti con connection but the internet was not working. All the other computers in my house were uh, having the internet fine. So uh, yeah, after this, after after I did this uh, easy little fix, uh, the Wi-Fi worked fine, actually instantly. So what you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is press the start key. Okay, you're gonna want to type in n p. Hold on, I'm actually gonna. Cursor right here, so you guys can see this a bit better. All right, right there. N C. Oh, N C P A. Dot. C P L. All right, and uh, after you type that in, uh, something like this should come up. If you're wondering Windows 8, just have apps and just press Enter. Um, yeah, or click on it. Um, Windows 7, you should just be able to press enter. So, um, two or three networks may come up. Um, one is going to be your, the Wi Fi network that you're either trying to connect to or uh, connected to, but the internet's not working. One might be Hamachi, and if you have Hamachi, the other one uh, is, is going to be the Ethernet. So whatever Wi-Fi Wi-Fi network you're trying to connect to and to use the internet in doesn't matter if there's 20. Just find the one that you are trying to use. Click on it so it's highlighted. Right-click on it. Go to Properties. And I say that this area right here, this uh, the Wi-Fi properties for this uh, for the Wi-Fi networks are very is a very delicate um, and important place. That you guys should not do anything without knowing what you're doing. I am not responsible for any problems that you guys cause for yourselves by not following the video. Do exactly as I do in the video and you'll have no problems, only the fix. Moving on, so you're gonna come up with this little list here. You're and this and um that you're you're gonna wanna find wherever in the list it is, Internet Protocol version 4, and then TCP slash IPv4. It might be uh, up the top of the list anywhere, just find the Internet Protocol version 4 IPv4, not the 6 IPv6, version 4 IPv4. Select it with the left click, right click, oh no, not right click, properties. Alright, and so um, by default, your um, by default, you're either gonna have this box checked or this box checked with uh, some uh, number typed in here. If you have this box checked, check this box. If you already have this box checked, and if you just check this box, once this box is checked, then you're going to type in these numbers 208 67 222 222. All right. Don't worry about the um, alternate DNS server. Again, that is two zero eight two zero eight six seven two 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 two. Don't do anything else. Click OK, close, and your internet should be working. If it doesn't work, may I then I can suggest three things. One, going down here, clicking. Clicking this, disconnect, then click again, reconnect. 
restarting your PC by going either down to the start menu if you're on Windows 7 click the little, the little arrow next to the shutdown button click restart or on Windows 8 go down to the bottom right corner of your screen of your uh, screen settings power restart and if that doesn't work then uh, go then go to uh, whatever room or wherever your modem and your Wi-Fi router are unplug the power and Ethernet and internet cable from your router then after that is done unplug the power from your modem and take out the battery in your modem Re reverse these steps by putting the battery back in after about 10 seconds plug the cable in then plug the cable plug the cables back into the router if that doesn't work Tell me in the comment section below, and I will do a, a part two of this tutorial on a few more fixes that will definitely help you out if this didn't. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like in the, leave a like in the section down below if this video helped you out at all. Also, a comment letting me know that I helped someone out would also be very nice. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys get, I hope this solves your problem. If it doesn't, again, let me know. Alright guys.